Hi, kindergarten. So you guys have been practicing using money for a long time. All through kindergarten, you've been practicing looking at money and knowing which coins are which and knowing their names and how much they're worth. But we haven't really talked about how to write what money looks like with numbers. So say I have 50 cents, two quarters. How do I show that with numbers? I will show you. This is how you write 50 cents. You can actually write it two ways. I'm gonna show you the easy way first. And I'll show you a little bit trickier way next. So this says, right there, 50 cents. That C with the line crossed through it is the symbol for cents. So that's one way to write 50 cents, but here's another way to write 50 cents and you'll probably see this more often. This also says 50 cents. Oops, I forgot something, wait. Now it says 50 cents, Miss Bacon. Okay, so do you see that S with the line through it? That S stands for a dollar. And there's 50 behind that dot. And so that's another way to write 50 cents. So if I have 50 cents, I can write it this way on the top or this way on the bottom. But if I have a dollar and 50 cents, how would I write that? Let me show you. So, this says $1.50. And you see the one right here. This one is in front of this dot. And you see the 50 behind this dot. This dot is called a decimal. And it just means that anything in front of it is a dollar or several dollars, depending on what that number is. This is $1, but you could put $11, you could put $20, you could put $5. Any number that's in front of this decimal is a whole dollar. Now, any number that's behind this decimal is cents because we know cents are pieces of a dollar, right? We know that if we have a hundred pennies, then we have a whole dollar, but if we only have seven pennies, then we only have seven parts of a dollar, right? So one dollar and 50 cents is how you would say this and how you would write it. Any number in front of that decimal, sorry, my screen is mirrored and it makes my numbers feel backwards to me. Any number in front of that decimal is a dollar, a whole dollar amount. And any number behind that decimal is cents. So if this says $1.50, how would you read these numbers? Let me show them to you. All right, here's the first one on the top. How would you read this number? You would say $4.32. Very good. All right, let's check the next one. All right, it's similar to the last one we just did. There's the dollar in front of the decimal right there. So this one says $1.00 and 25 cents. How about the next one? All right, this one says $8 and 53 cents. Very good. Let's look at the next one. All right, the next one says $6 and 47 cents. Very good, good practice. All right, let's look at the next one. The next one says $10 and 75 
cents. Excellent. Last one. All right. This one says nine dollars and 61 cents. Excellent. All right, kindergarten. Now, I want you to practice with me. I want you to get your whiteboard or a piece of paper or a pencil and a pencil so that you can write some things that I tell you and then you can check your answer with mine, okay? All right, all right. So if you have to pause the video here, stop it for a second, go get what you need to write some things down and then come right back, okay? All right. Okay, now you've got all your materials and you're ready. So I'm gonna read you some number values, some dollar amounts, and you're going to try to write them down using a decimal place. The decimal goes after the dollar and the cents go after the decimal. Okay, all right. The first amount is two dollars and 45 cents. Try to write that, two dollars and 45 cents. You have something written down? Ready to check? Okay, two dollars and 45 cents. Looks like this. Did you get it? It's okay, good, okay. Let's try the next one. All right, the next one is $6.72. $6.72, how would you write that? Remember, there's a decimal between the dollars and the cents. Wanna see? Okay, $6.72. Right there. You're gonna get better at this the more you practice it. Right now we're just learning about it. You'll learn it again in first and second grade. Don't worry if it's tricky. I know, it's hard, but you are gonna get better at it. Okay, next one. All right, how about, how would you write $4.89? $4.89, what would that look like? There's a decimal between the dollars and the cents. Wanna see, $4.89. Looks like that. All right, let's do another one. Good practice. All right, the next one is $10.28. $10.28. What does that look like when you write it in numbers? $10.28. Excellent. Next one. All right. Let's try $3. And oops, my marker's not working. $3.61. $3.61. See? There it is, right at the bottom. There's that decimal between the dollar and the cents. It's just a dot, like a period. It stops the dollars and starts the cents. All right, next one. Let's try $1.53. $1.53. How would you write that? Ready? There's the one separated from the cents by the decimal, $1.53. All right, let's do a couple more and then uh, I think we'll be finished. All right, how about $5.94? $5.94, what would that look like if you wrote it down? Wanna check? All right. Five dollars and ninety-four cents. 
Excellent. One more. Okay. The last one. Seven dollars and thirty-six cents. Seven dollars and thirty-six cents. Remember, you need a dollar sign at the beginning, and you need a decimal point between the dollars and the cents. The cat is watching me. Ready? You want to see? Seven dollars and thirty-six cents. Right there. Good practice. Excellent. Well, kindergarten, you did great on that. You are gonna keep practicing it. Like I said, I know it's tricky, but you are gonna practice it again in first grade and second grade. I just wanna show you what it looks like. So, I think I'm about finished. Oh! Oh, somebody says he's not finished. Oh, Hilton has come. Of course Hilton has come. He wants to say bye to you guys. Hilton says, he, he says he thinks you guys are doing great with the decimals. And he just wanted to come say bye. And he's had a really good time being in all my, no, that's not what you want to say. I said that he wants to say bye to you and he's had so much fun being in all my math videos. No, you haven't had fun. You haven't had a good time. I thought you had fun messing up my math videos. <laughs> oh, he's just being silly. He thinks he's so funny. Always Hilton thinks he's funny. Hilton says bye guys. And he'll come see you again. You guys gotta come visit him when you're in first grade. Come visit Hilton again. He'll still be in my classroom. Oh, and wait, where are you going? Hilton, come back. Hilton, Hilton is stealing all of the money. Stop Hilton, stop.